Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, what do we have here? The Lion King has debuted on Rotten Tomatoes with a 59% score and making it officially rotten. Now this is hilarious to me. Let's go ahead and check out what the critics' census is. Consensus, sorry. While it can take pride in its visual achievements, The Lion King is a by-the-numbers retelling that lacks the energy and heart that made the original so beloved, though for some fans that may just be enough. Now that is exactly what I expected this film to be. I talked about that a little bit in my early reactions uh, video for The Lion King. Where I was like, you know what? I'm sure that the visuals are great. I'm sure that the visual effects are just fantastic. But there is no way that this movie is going to capture the heart of the original. There's no way that this movie is going to capture the emotion of the original. It's not even going to come close. This movie will not come close to touching the original at all. So, basically, they released a version of this movie where it is basically... It's basically a movie that is lower quality than the original Lion King movie, but it looks fancier, which I guess is the only way to really say it, which is hilarious to me. And uh, this movie, uh, you know, this is exactly what I expected for, of this movie. I did not expect a 59% of Rotten Tomatoes, to be completely honest, but that just goes to show that the critics, the critics who criticize this movie, you know what this means, right? This means that they hate lions because if you criticize a movie that means that you automatically hate whatever the the protagonist characters are as we all know with brie larson and uh in captain marvel and stuff if you criticize that movie that means that you're a sexist that's that's just what that means if you did not like captain marvel you are a sexist if you did not like the last jedi then you are a sexist or maybe maybe a racist. I guess you could be a racist too. Um, you're all just trolls too, by the way. So, with The Lion King, being that it's a 59% of Rotten Tomatoes, that means that all of these critics down here who gave it a rotten review are lionists. They hate lions with every fiber of their being. That is exactly what this means. That is 100% that is what this means. So, I think, I think that there should be a change. I think that people should stop discriminating against lions. I think that people should allow lions to to do what they want in their movie without any discrimination. You know, we don't get enough uh, lion representation as it is in movies. And uh, the fact that this movie is being discriminated against is really, really terrible. It's, it's making me literally shake. It's making me literally shake yes this movie is a safari to the shadowland and it's just deep enough to give a cat who's come of age something to sink his teeth into and some of these reviews i don't even know what they mean like the lion king is dead long live the lion king what uh pairing off romantically to produce a legitimate heir to the throne is nice and all but it's getting destroyed by the minions of your own venal ambition that's the real circle of life a well-rendered but creatively bankrupt self-portrait of a movie studio eating its own tail. That's kind of a... That's, that's a good take there. I like that take. Um, uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Yeah, so this is hilarious to me. This is absolutely hilarious to me. And it's hilarious how Collider, which is a very, very... Um, uh, Disney shill website. They did not cover... That this movie is rotten on Rotten Tomatoes at all? Uh, I bet ya, I bet ya, if we go here, I bet ya, the people that work for Rotten Tomatoes, <clears throat> or for Collider, sorry, probably gave it a fresh review. I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing here. Let's see if we can find it here. Do they have, uh, do they have the, uh, Collider fellas here at all? Um, I guess they'd just be in all critics, I guess. Let me see. Let me see if I can find our Collider friends here, because I bet you that they gave it a fresh review. Uh, this might take a while. Maybe I won't do this because, yeah, this is not going to this is not going to work out very well. Yeah. Um, but you know, they they didn't cover this at all on their website. They didn't cover the fact that it's rotten. They're kind of just like completely ignoring there's grace randolph with her rotten review which is pretty great to see um and i know that yeah jeremy johns gave it a rotten as well i feel like this remake took out more than it put back in which is a good take that's that's kind of how i felt that it would be too and stuff you know 
Um, so, you know, there there we go. There's there's our Collider, collider pairing. Nemiroff gave it a fresh, exactly like I predicted uh, they would. Uh, and then I'm sure that uh, What's-His-Face probably gave it a fresh review as well. But, uh, but this is just hilarious to me. This really is just absolutely fantastic. And I think that people are starting to realize that these remakes really aren't that hype. They just really aren't. It's it's literally just a cra cash g grab from, from Disney. They don't care about actually trying to tell good stories now. They don't care about trying to make actual good stories or good movies with good characters or anything. The only thing that they care about is trying to rehash these movies to make some, some money. That's basically it. They're trying to play on your nostalgia to try to uh, coax you into the theaters to go see their movies so that you can uh, pay them just basically for a modded out version of what we've gone before already, which is really, really funny. It's a... Uh, it just, I mean, that's exactly what's happening here. And I think that people are starting to actually see what's happening here besides, you know, the Disney, the Disney shows like Collider and John Campia, who apparently, uh, what, he was slobbering like a baby or something by the end of this movie or something, he said, which is probably the most cringy take I've ever heard in my life. But with that being said, let me know in the comments below. What do you think about this? The, the lion hate needs to, to stop. I'm sorry. The lion hate absolutely needs to stop. And it's not just the Lion King, okay? It is not just The Lion King. It is, uh, there's, there's tons of movies here. Uh, let me see. This one. Oh, man. This one. Look at that. 42%. That means that the critics that did not like this movie are all sexists and racists. Nope. Oh, wrong one. Totally wrong one here. Um, let me see here. This one, 46%. That means that the critics that did not like this movie are elephantists. They hate elephants. The elephant hate needs to stop. The lion hate needs to stop. It is getting ridiculous. Uh, we need more representation for these types of creatures, these types of characters, and the hate needs to stop. It really does. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. With that being said, hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll talk to you all very soon in another video. Talk to you later. Bye. I'm not gonna lie,